Hello guys and welcome back to the Darwin Setup Guide. In this part I'd like to talk a little bit about the footboard adjustment or specifically said let's talk about the height adjustment. Because one of the cool things the Darwin offers is an independently adjustable uh, footboard angle um, on the strap drive version as well as on the direct drive version and it variates a little bit. So obviously as most other things it highly depends on personal preferences. Um, I really recommend to start with the stock settings and you I think you, you will get the feel if you want to lift or lower the footboard. Also you can just try out both directions and see if it is an advantage or a disadvantage and go even further the direction you like. Um, the thing you need to know is let's say that because the footboard angle is independable, adjustable from the rest of the system, there is also a chance that you have the footboard so low in combination with a very, very um, yeah, steep or let's say large beta angle that you reach the bottom or that the footboard touches the hoop clamp, for example, before the beta actually reaches the drum head. So there is a very, very bottom point because there's so much independable from anything else adjustable. So keep that in mind if you have extreme combinations of, a, for example, very, very low footboard angle in combination with a very large beta angle. Um, so obviously this adjustment is possible on the strap drive as well as on the direct drive. And obviously it's also, it is a little different to access. On the strap drive version, there is a screw underneath here that allows you to actually shift the connection part of the strap drive further back or closer to the heel area. And that lifts or lowers the footboard independently. Um, you can also lift or lower the footboard by rotating this cam over here. But that's an adjustment I'd like to talk about later on because that also changes how the pedal feels in general. So if you want to just lift a load of footboard, I highly recommend to stick with this adjustment which already gives you quite a range compared to other pedals. And also there is the, the possibility if you need an extra short or an extra long strap because you have some weird combination going on that I can customize some specific lengths for you in that case. On the direct drive setup, this former, let's say, height adjustment for the strap drive, so sliding this part back and forward also adjusts how the pedal feels more than it adjusts actually the height. So to compensate that, the direct drive has another adjustment on the direct drive link itself that actually allows to just adjust the length of the link in total. That honestly influences the feeling of the pedal a little bit, but overall it just does a dramatic change of the height of the footboard and that's it. Um, I will talk about the other features, the cam rotation and the leverages on the direct drive in a separate video as well. So on the direct drive you do have some grooves where this, the head of the screw can settle in. So you always have some sort of reference points and you know where you started and where to go to. There's, there's no complete stepless adjustment, but you do have various steps. I think there are nine steps you can go from all the way up, all the way down. And as same with the, with the strap drive, it all already gives you quite a range to play around with. Um, on the strap drive, you do have some reference marks over here. There are some grooves milled in this, this top part. And you, I like to just look at the um, nut that locks the connection part of the strap and just look where the corners of this nut is and yeah, line it up with the grooves. Um, and yeah, I think <laughs> more or less complicated that also gives you a quite good reference point and an idea where you started and where, which direction you went when you experiment a little bit with the Darwin. Um, I think just to, to, to mention that um, with, the, with the height adjustment or with any other adjustment, the most generic average adjustment I like to start from is usually in the middle. So when it comes to the height adjustment of the footboard, it is in the middle here. The beta and the cam angle is quite in the mid-range. The spring is quite in the mid-range. Usually this one is a little experiment, so there's a different spring and a different um, spring adjustment going on. But I'm also going to talk about the spring adjustment in one of the future parts. So 
when you want or when you don't find a way out and when you want to start again from the very very bottom just place everything quite in the mid range and you have a very very good starting point again to experiment i think that's all i have for you in terms of the footboard height yeah as i said it's a little bit it's it's worth experimenting with it and it highly depends on personal preferences and on other parameters but setting up the footboard height is the second thing i would like to or i would experiment with after i set up the hoop clamp and just give the pedal a few hits after that I'd recommend to play around a little bit with the beta angle and once you have done that the last thing I would recommend to swap out or to experiment with is the spring adjustment which will also be a future part of this setup guide. So with that being said I hope to see you in the next part.